Okay, today's fascinating topic will be the Final Cut Pro Gradient Wipe. And uh, that is located under uh, Effects, Video Transitions, Wipe, Gradient Wipe. And uh, what most people uh, do is they put the gradient wipe on and they watch it uh, make a basic, uh, what I would call a linear edge wipe. And then they go in here and mess with the only control they can find and they get nothing like what they would like. Then they give up and they go find another transition. But um, what, what's not obvious when you open this wipe is that this little question mark here is a drop zone that you can drag an image to from your browser that will turn that image into a gradient wipe based on the black and white value in the image. So here's a bunch of images I have. And uh, these are from an old collection, I think, that were called... Uh, spice kit or spice wipes or video spice or something like that but I'm pretty sure you could do a Google search on uh, gradient images or spice images or black and white gradients or gradients for wipes um, and find yourself images very similar to this that are all basically designed to do different kinds of wipes and once you use a couple of these you'll start being able to predict how they move when you apply them to the gradient wipe filter so I tend to prefer the kind of more organic type of things uh, like the clouds and the climatics and the fluids and the erosions so basically the gradient wipe uses the information in the image to create a wipe over time from a still image uh, with a progression from the darkest part of the image to the brightest. So if we take a look, uh, let me see. So this one, <clears throat> if you just look at it, it's probably going to start at the middle and work its way out to the brightest part of the image. So if I double click on the gradient wipe, drag that image to the drop zone, you'll see that darkest to lightest over time creates this kind of burst effect and the control in here that helps this look a little better sometimes depending on the image is uh, softness and the real-time previews are okay but if you render it it's gonna look a lot better And I'll just give you a quick idea. I mean, there are tons of different effects you can get just from this one gradient wipe. So you probably have a lot more wipes at your disposal than you realize in Final Cut because you've basically got an unending supply of wipes just in this one gradient wipe alone. Now, a better version of this gradient wipe is also available under Effects Video Transitions, Effects Scripts DVEs Soft Wipe. And much like the gradient wipe, it kind of loads up in this default mode that, uh, although cool, uh, doesn't make a lot of sense and doesn't have a lot of use. Uh, but what, what you need to do is change the method from directional to pattern and then just like the gradient wipe find one of your black and white images that you like and drag it to the pattern drop zone and this has the added feature of kind of applying an edge a colored edge to the transition uh, that can come in handy uh, depending on your use of it uh, but I'm going to turn it off for now and it has a, a softness which seems to work a lot better than the built-in final cut one um, so you'll see, and I find <clears throat> normally you don't want wipes and transitions to take too long, but these go by so quickly that sometimes when you slow them down, they look nice. And, you know, 
crank up the softness and you can get a real subtle you know non video effect looking transition and if you make it soft enough it makes almost every transition look cool That was probably too soft to pick out the pattern there. This is some kind of texture thing. A lot of them you wouldn't use, but you, you'll what you'll do is put together a nice little collection of these black and white images. And whenever you're bored with your uh, stock transitions, you just whip out your gradient wipe or your soft wipe and go to town. Uh, here's a little edge on it. You can change the color. Get kind of crazy. So a lot of possibilities here. And I'm pretty sure you can reverse them. Yes you can. So if you're a fan of wipes, um, here's a way to have essentially an unending supply of new wipes that you didn't even know you had built right into Final Cut. Uh, the other thing you can do is uh, go into Photoshop and make some gradients or just get the airbrush out and uh, make up your own uh, shapes. So gradient wipe. and CGM soft wipe very groovy new transitions for you I'm sure that one day these will come in handy and uh, you can thank your old pal Dave Styles. have a good week everybody see you soon